their Final Smashes will never return. But why? During the Super Smash Bros. series, a lot of Final Smashes have disappeared for no reason. But I'm gonna go through why I think these Final Smash did not return. Conga Beat In this Final Smash, DK brings out his drums and beats to the rhythm. This Final Smash stuck around till Smash 4, but in Ultimate, it was replaced by Jungle Rush. I think it was Shane because it really fit the character and his whole feel. He's not really a jumper, he's more of a fighter. Triforce Slash Lightning traps the opponent in the Triforce and keeps slashing them until they're dead. But in Ultimate, they replace it with the Ancient Bow and Arrow. It's pretty easy to explain, they want a new Final Smash for the newest game, being Breath of the Wild at the time. It also lets two of the young Link have it, so only two Links have it now instead of all three. Chef Kirby In this one, Kirby pulls all the fires into a pot and cooks them. But in Smash 4, it was replaced with the Ultra Sword. This is pretty easy to explain because Curse and Adrenaline was the most recent Kirby game at the time, and a big sword was much better than cooking everyone in a pot. Fox, Wolves, and Falco's Landmaster. One of these three characters call for a Landmaster and they jump into it controlling it. The Landmaster stuck around for a while to Ultimate, where it was replaced with Team Star Fox and Team Star Wolf. Now this starts a trend and what we're going to see is what they remove a lot of Final Smashes that interrupt gameplay and replace them with quick cutscenes. Luigi's Negative Zone In this one, Luigi starts to dance while a negative zone forms around him, where characters will take damage while in it. In Smash 4, it was replaced by the Poltergust. I think they replaced Negative Zone because it was very weird and not fit the character like the Poltergust does, which represents its series. Sheik and Zelda's Light Arrow In this one, Zelda and Sheik will shoot an arrow into the fighter. This was changed to the Triforce of Wisdom for Zelda and the Sheikah Dance for Sheik in Ultimate. I think this happened because they wanted to separate Sheik and Zelda more, and these Final Smash fit better for the characters. Palutena's Army and Three Sacred Treasures In Palutena's Army, Pit summons Palutena's Army to attack the fighters. And the Three Sacred Treasures, Pit starts shooting a bunch of arrows against the fighters. But in Ultimate, it was changed to the Lightning Chariot. I think it was changed for Palutena's Army because it sucks, and the Three Sacred Treasures because gameplay interruption. So they changed it to the Lightning Chariot, which is much better. Galaxia Darkness In this one, Man Knight shrouds everything in darkness and slashes everyone to bits. It was replaced in Ultimate with the Dark Illusion. They did because Galaxia was way too long, and this one is so much cooler and fits Man Knight's character better. Mega Charizard X in this one, Charizard transforms into Mega Charizard X and terrifies the competition. In Ultimate, it was changed back, which both finish. But went back to a team, so that's why he's no longer Mega Charizard X. Super Dragon In this one, Yoshi transforms into a dragon, causing havoc. In Ultimate, it was replaced with a cutscene, being Stampede. It was just like Pit and Fox, they didn't want to interrupt gameplay so much, so they made it into a cutscene. Waddle D Army in this one, a bunch of Waldies are called by King Yidi, and they rain from the sky. And Dedede Burst. In Dedede Burst, he sucks you up, hits you multiple times with his hammer, and throws a huge bomb at you. In Ultimate, it's replaced by Dedede Rush. I think Waldie Army and Dedede Burst was replaced because they sucked and they show off the character like Dedede Rush does. Mega Lucario. During his final smash, Lucario Mega Balls becoming Mega Lucario, making it very strong and KO opponents very fast. It was replaced by the old final smash being Aura Storm in Ultimate. I think this was the case of interrupting gameplay, which would make an issue with a lot of the other ones on this list, but they did Mega Evolve during Aura Storm, which makes me very happy. The Fusion Beam In the Fusion Beam, Small Blast comes out of Rob's eye, and the person will have to go and attack everyone very closely in combat, which is actually pretty dangerous. And next up is Super Diffusion Beam. In Super Diffusion Beam, a bigger blast comes out out of Rob's eye, making it much stronger, but it was still pretty terrible. But they are both replaced by the Gaia Robo Beam. I think this happened because the first two just sucked and barely hit the opponent, compared to this one, which hits all opponents, most likely. Grenade Launcher. In this one, Snakes joins your side of the screen, which is really cool, and you can shoot fires together. In Ultimate, it was replaced by Covering Fire. I think it's a place because it was way too violent for the game, and I think the developers took it out because it was too violent. Lastly, subscribe. It makes you hit the subscribe button, so make you hit it in 3, 2, 1, thank you for subscribing. Now, that was all the Final Smashes that were removed and will never return. Did I miss any? Let me know in the comments below. Have a good day and drink a lot of water.